Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is time. Headliners day number two is here. Headliners day two is here in FIFA Ultimate Team. It is Friday, it is promo Friday, and we have some things to talk about with these new cards that are gonna be coming on the game today. I wanna take you guys through and show you the loading screen right now. They dropped a couple more hints today. This is something that they have been doing in the past couple of weeks, and it's fun, and it's cool, and we like it. So I'm glad that they have continued to do it. This was our hint from today. We had a 90 rated player here at the front with a couple of the, the sketches of uh, team symbols and club badges as well. But the 90 rated player has 91 dribbling. So there's only a few options that we have for this. Some people are saying it's either Marco Royce, Raheem Sterling, or Benzema. And I think between those two, the most likely are Sterling and Royce to be getting a special card because neither of them have a live item. Neither does Benzema, to be fair. But uh, I think it's between Royce or Sterling. For, you know, that, that player that was on the loading screen as well, that was our front and central player. So that usually means that the highest rated player is central front of the promo. So for the fact of the matter that we only have a 90 rated player up there in the front, I do stand by my statement before saying that headliner set two is not going to be as good as headliner set one. One. So we we've been looking out for those cards today, seeing if they drop more hints leading up to the promo, which I think they will. That'll be interesting to follow. It'll be a big day on FIFA Ultimate Team. And also, I want to talk about these cards post rewards today. Now, I told a lot of you guys that earlier in the week, I said probably Thursday is the buy day. That's going to be the time to buy these cards. And if you didn't watch any of my other videos, you probably did fine. You bought them today and you're happy, right? Because a lot of these cards are down from what they were earlier in the week. I think it was because of pack supply and I think people, you know, there was a lot of packs open today. So that's part of it. But I also think people were just genuinely worried about the Ben Yedder SBC. Look at this. Kyle Walker was 369,000 coins, 370K middle of the day today. And if you look at the graphs for a lot of these guys, some of them have rebounded back up from where they were in the middle of the day a little bit. Ferran 844, that's low, man. He was 837 earlier, re rebounded back to 850. So if you bought today around the middle of the, of the daytime, 6, 7 p.m. UK, GG's, you probably got in at a good time. These cards are the lowest. They have basically been this entire promo, which I find very interesting. Uh, but I think just the pack supply hit them today. And of course, the Ben Yedder SBC probably had an, a little bit of an impact on that as well. But uh, if you bought before, if you bought on Wednesday, I don't think you should be too, too worried because, I mean, some of them dropped, but it wasn't too crazy amount, right? These cards are rare. They should do decently well out of packs, especially if we continue to have coins pumped on this game. And especially if, if one of, or two of these guys gets an inform, right? That's just going to provide hype and cause more hype for these cards because it's going to show that they're going to get upgraded and that EA is, is watching them and stuff like that. This card's a little bit of an interesting situation because Vardy got injured in their game yesterday when they played, and he's been down ever since. He was like 160 to start the day, uh, and he dropped off quickly to 140. He's actually been like 130. I picked a, I picked one up for the club today at 135, I think, and I just chucked in the club because I do think the injury, uh, from what the report said, wasn't too bad. So that's maybe an investment that I would keep my eyes on since he's dropped off from 160k to 130 like so quick keep your eyes on that that's a possible investment if he indeed is healthy and that's the main thing that's why i haven't bought more of them right because i want to make sure vardy is healthy there is a week off between prem games so we don't have prem games until the beginning of february um so there's a little bit of a rest there updates on current streaks i think salah is one of the most notable ones on a two game win streak um city is on one i think and then Wolves got their one game win streak denied today because they lost to Liverpool and Salah. So two game win streak for Salah, it is a GG's. And a lot of you guys are gonna be happy with that because these cards now have two wins under their belt already. We do have to wait a little bit for some of the Prem cards, but Semedo and Barcelona have a chance this weekend. They have a tough game against Valencia, but tougher game, but they have a chance to go ahead and get themselves uh, that second win in a row for the Semedo card being upgraded. So again, these are also informed. Like these are like ones to watches. They could have a good performance on the weekend and they could shoot up. So I would expect to see these guys maybe tomorrow around 6 p.m. UK. They're low again for a little bit of time as people see the new cards that come out onto the game for set two of headliners. But then I do think it's a possibility that you see some of these cards rising back up in price 
into the weekend league because people want to use them for their teams. Uh, they like these cards, and especially some of the ones that are playing this weekend, they maybe want to get one in their squad just in case something happens. Kyle Walker right now is 384,000 coins for a first owner, fresh tradable. Kyle Walker, best right back in the Prem, other than Trent Alexander Arnold, team of the year. So that card is going to be in demand, in my opinion. But um, a lot of these, again, did kind of drop a little bit lower today. Again, Vardy is probably my favorite investment out of all of these, but that's solely because he has dropped off so much, and he's only my favorite investment if he is healthy. If he actually is healthy, that would be the number one big asterisk and the number one thing that I would want to watch. Wow, he was just 133, like five minutes ago. Interesting, 139. So th I think this is a popular investment for a lot of people, but this is probably my favorite as well. He's an English striker. One upgrade probably puts him at 92 or 93 pace with 88 shot, over 80 physical. So again, it's uh he's been playing well. He's going to have like 92 or 93 finishing if they give him a, have a boost. So And Leicester definitely have a chance to win four in a row as well. So they are on a one winning streak right now that they won in the last couple days for the midweek game. So that's kind of that's one of my more favorite investments out of packs. I would also say Telez is one of my favorite investments out of packs as well. I've been shouting that all week. Maybe Saul and Luis Alberto as well, but we're just gonna have to monitor these guys, watch them, and it also depends on who gets into the second uh, headliner pack of cards as well. And I want to talk about a few other things that we could see in terms of content today. Uh, actually, let's talk about the Ben Yedder SBC first because that SBC came out today, and of course. It was taken down shortly after because of all the drama that happened today. And I want to talk about this just a little bit. So this Ben Yedder SBC came out, right? They gave him a nice card. I, I Can you give him one more pace and one more shot, EA, please? Give him that 90-90. That would have been sick to have on a Ben Yedder with 90 pace and 90 shot. So I wish they would have given him that, but this is what the card will look like. They're going to re-release the SBC at some point. They did say that, but it looks like for now... Uh, they have pulled the SBC back while they're trying to figure out how they're going to distribute the awards and distribute the stuff like that because there was some issues with that today, which we're going to talk about. So this is the card again, and this is the issue that everybody's talking about, and I'm going to share my thoughts on this really quick as well. So they put this SBC out, right? You needed two 84 rated squads, an 85, an 86, and an 87. But the 86 rated squad that they put out actually only required an 80 rated team. So everybody saw this right away. They went into the game. They started doing the SBC, and it was up for like 35 or 40 minutes before EA pulled the SBC off the game, and they said, hold your horses. This is incorrect. We're going to re-release the SBC, and we'll have more notes on that to come. So if you guys got this done like I did, you got a rare Electrum Players pack out of the deal, but what EA did say is that they are not going to be allowing us to complete that SBC using our using our progress from before, basically. So if you complete that one SBC like I did, and I'll show you guys the exact tweet right here. We'll go back to it. This is the exact tweet right here. Partial progress will not be saved due to updated requirements. We are currently working on returning the items for players who partially completed the SBC. Stay tuned to this thread for more updates as we have them. And this is the issue that I have with this. As you can tell, you look at a lot of the comments, people are just absolutely livid and they're pissed, right? Because they felt like they were advertised an SBC and they were not getting that SBC that they were advertised. Um, and, and yeah, that's the thing. I kind of want to make, make a point about this too, because this is how I was thinking about it earlier today when this was happening, right? So think about this. You're in the store and an item that you want to buy for some reason, it's marked down. It's accidentally marked down. Usually it's 10 bucks. All of a sudden you see it on sale for $7, right? And you're like, whoa, what is the reason for this markdown? Whatever it is, I want to buy it. I want to buy this. And because this is a really good price, right? So you buy the item, you take it up to check out. And uh, the, the person comes up and it's like, oh man, this item is not supposed to be this price. Um, but since we had it advertised at this price, and this is the price that you are willing to pay and you want this item for this price because you're bringing it up to buy it right now, I feel like I'm obliged to sell you this item. Now, could that store that you're buying this, this again, story item from charge you the full amount? I mean, they could technically, yes, but 
that's just not the right thing or the, the, the cool thing to do, right? If you want people to like you, own up to your mistake. Own up to your mistake. You made a mistake today. Can you own up to it? Realize that you did something wrong and just let it be, right? This is what you could do, EA. Instead of pulling the SBC back, giving us the players back, why don't you just leave the SBC in there? People that completed that 80 rated squad get to keep that progress on the SBC and people who didn't complete the 86, the 80 rated squad, then their SBC gets updated to the 86. That's kind of how it would work in my story setting. And a lot of you guys might say, well, that's not fair. Why would they do that? Well, that's kind of how it would be in the store too, right? If they accidentally marked an item down in the store, they would realize it is accidentally marked down. They would go back and they would mark that, pr that price back to where it's supposed to be, right? That's how it should be here again too. I just think sometimes you get lucky with timing. And if you were on the ga game today, right at 6 p.m. UK, I feel like that's how it should have been, how it should have been done, right? But now EA is saying, we're pulling the entire SBC back. We're gonna release it. And we're gonna go through all of this work to release the players that you put into this SBC for every single account on this game that did the SBC, one SBC, two parts of it, or the whole entire, well, maybe not the whole entire thing, but if you did the SBC and you had it partially completed, then we have to go through all this work to figure out which players you turned in and give them back to you. Why don't you just save all that time and energy and update the SBC to what it's supposed to be in game and let people save their progress regardless. Now, I, I don't know code. I don't know if that's even possible with EA, but that's just the thing that if EA wanted to be like sensible and own up to their mistake, I feel like that's what they would do. So that's my little rant on that. I'm just disappointed, right? Because this happens way too often. They're delivering something as content to us, but they mess it up. It happens like once a week. They feel like there's something we just get pissed about every week because they mess up something and there's an issue. So those are my thoughts on that. If you have any thoughts, share them down below. That SBC came out today. Let's go find this really quick on Footbin. That uh, Ben Yedder SBC came out today. And it's not even on Footbin anymore, but it was showing as around 530,000 coins with that 86 rated squad actually being an 80 rated squad. So if you substitute that for an 86 rated squad, we're looking at a Ben Yedder player of the month card that is somewhere around the range of like 650, maybe even 700k ish, depending on the prices for SBC fodder and stuff. So I mean, that's kind of where I expected the price to be. And a lot of people are saying it's overpriced. I don't think it's too, too, or too super crazy based on the prices for SBCs that we're seeing in the game right now. And EA knows that this, this market is very high. A lot of the SBC fodder is high. So they can get away with requiring a lot of those things because people are willing to pay the money for those SBCs. But again, it just sucks because the whole mess up with the SBC and that stuff today was just really a downer on the game today. So hopefully today, the today content, Friday's content for FIFA 20 headliners set to can be good, can be fun, and can be good value with no mess ups, no hiccups. So I wanna talk about a few other things before we get into that promo and content today. We probably will get another objective player, right? Because we have Playa in here. Playa expires tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK. So we will get another objective SBC. A lot of people are thinking it's gonna be Lataro Martinez. At some, some way, shape, or form, they do think that we're getting that card. So watch out for him tomorrow. And of course, I do think the squad they release now, this is the big question, right? The squad that they released for set two of headliners, is it going to be available for a full week in packs or is it only going to be available for uh, like three days? And we can kind of compare this to the second set of Ultimate Scream or the second set of the Road to the Final promo. Because if you remember the second set of the Road to the Final promo, those cards were only in packs for three days, right? Our road to the final second set with guys like Terea, um, guys like, uh, who else is in that? Uh, no, not Yuris, but Bale was in that second set. Those guys were only in packs for three days. They were in packs from Friday until like Monday or at 6 p.m. UK or something like that. So they had less supply. I wonder if EA is going to do that or if they're going to make this second set last a whole entire week. We're going to find that out tomorrow. Uh, and you know, it just kind of depends on the player selection as well, what they want to do, but they have dropped so many SBCs this week that I'm almost thinking it might be a Tuesday end of the promo or Monday end of the promo for the headliner promotion. Because another reason why I say that is because this double upgrade SBC ends in four days. And if you look at a lot of these other 
headliner SBCs, I think they expire in that time frame as well. Delhi Alley has three days left. I don't know about Smalling. I think Smalling's already expired um, because I've done Smalling and Adama. So all the headliner SBCs right now, they expire within the next four days. So that is my personal opinion that this, when this SBC goes away, the headliners promo will be done as well. So that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens though today. And the last shout, I wanna talk about one thing here at the end of the video. Last year around this time, and we're gonna go throwback FIFA 19 for you guys really quick. Last year around this time, we got the first man of the match cards in FIFA 20. Now I don't hear anybody talking about this at the moment, but keep your eyes open for a possible man of the match batch number one what they do is they usually drop these man of the match cards in at midnight uk it's like late night uk time on friday night they take the results from that those cup games during the week uh there was league there was league on cup games there were syria cup games and la liga cup games this week i think so uh griezmann is a possible person who could get in obviously this was promes was one of the first or the first set of man of the match cards that we got last year and it came out on the 26th of january which would be friday of last year i think right that would have been saturday of last year so saturday this weekend is basically what i'm talking about with these cards watch out for these cards either friday or saturday night for some of these cards and i'm talking about griezmann because he had two goals in their win they just scathed by they barely won but he did have two goals in their win this weekend uh so if you see this card you know under 500k again excuse me under 600k 610 right now it says on uh, on footbin because he didn't get a team of the week i think there was a little bit of a drop maybe then i uh, know because his game was on thursday he was up at 650 or his game was on wednesday i think but Watch this card because if he does get a man of the match, this item would upgrade and there's not a lot of people talking about that right now. So maybe have Twitter notifications turned on for EA because they, they usually do tweet that stuff out. Although in the past they've had issues with tweeting out man of the match stuff. Last year we had that all the time. They would not tweet out man of the matches when they would go live in game. EA, you're dropping content. Can you please tell us that you're dropping content on this game? So this would be something that I would be keeping my eyes out for as well. If you see Griezmann, 609 right there. If I see a Griezmann at like 580, I'm probably going to look to get in on that card at some point this weekend. Maybe just buy one just in case they do that. All right. So if you think Griezmann could get a, uh, a man of the match th this weekend, that could be something you look out for. I don't know if that card design is even in the code, so we might have to wait until we see some some specifics about that card design being in the code for FIFA 20 before we go out and, and see if Man of the Matches are coming. But if you guys have weekend league flips or if you guys are looking to trade today, all right, we're going to have uh, tons of packs open again. There will be lightning rounds, I assume, today on Friday, and there should be a nice buyback on cards because, again, we're getting coins onto the game, and we are also getting um new cards in the game and people need to play weekend league right there's a new patch i think people are playing weekend league this weekend there's also qualifiers this weekend so watch again i've been saying this in my videos this week watch some of the upper tier cards uh like a baby hullet and a baby viera are two perfect examples because a lot of pros have rating restrictions on these squads this weekend so definitely keep an eye out for some of these baby icons and some of the more meta players that are lower rated because they could take a bit of a boost more this weekend. They might already be up, but that's just something to watch out for as well. Headliner set two coming today, um, and there should be some fun content. Hopefully, they drop some good content for the headliners set two with a good squad and stuff like that. I want some more. Uh, I'm probably going to do another set of these upgrade packs um, before the current team goes away, but we'll also hit a little bit of these when the next team comes in as well. So, if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.